there, this is Tina Jessen from the Homestaging Academy and Homestaging Secret. Just wanted to reach out to you today uh, to share uh, something with you all. I'm always looking at, for ways of, to add more value to what we do here at uh, the Homestaging Academy. And I wanted to share some insights with you. And um, I wanted to let you know about some of the people that have been reaching out to me. So I've got people from not just um, Europe or England or America, but from all over the world. And I'm, I'm kind of blown away by this. Um, we've got uh, Nina from uh, Canada, from Ontario. Uh, we've got Jill from New York. Um, we've got uh, Eula from uh, Montenegro, which uh, is, is, is fantastic. We've got... Um, We've got Jill from Kent in the UK uh, and Richard from Australia. Hi, Richard. Um, we've had um, uh, Julia from Cheltenham in, in Gloucester, uh, in Gloucestershire. Uh, she's um, she's in, she has a, an interior design uh, qualification and wants to know how she can uh, move across into the world of home staging. Um, we've got. Um, uh, Marina uh, from Ottawa in Canada. She's uh, also an interior designer, uh, just moved into a new city and looking to develop into a home staging business. Uh, we've got uh, Pamela. Uh, she loves everything to do with the home. Uh, she's up in Scotland uh, and uh, she wants to see if she can combine home staging and home renovations that she's done uh, in her own experience. Uh, we've got Emma uh, from Georgia, and uh, she's a realtor, and she wants to look to add home staging to that business. We have Sarah. Um, she is uh, an aspirational stager, um, but she's uh, done a lot of work on her own property and planning and redesigning and upscaling, and she's done it for family and friends. And uh, but she hasn't got a clue where to start. Um, we've got uh, estate agents, uh, realtors looking to add home staging uh, to their um, to their realtor business. I've got photographers uh, looking to learn how to stage so that they can add uh, photography. I've got. Uh, Dominic from Mauritius, uh, he's an aspiring uh, home stager, but he's not sure how to start and how to fund it. Um, we've got uh, Connie uh, from North Carolina. Uh, she's uh, been in the retail business for over 35 years and she's looking for a career change and is considering becoming a home stager. We've got uh, Janine. Uh, she's... Um, uh, she, oh, she's a publications coordinator, so obviously used to writing, uh, and she's looking at how to interact with other professionals in the home staging uh, industry. Um, we have a professional organiser who is looking to move into doing furniture rental for staging. Really good idea there. Uh, I've got Kelly from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, and she's a realtor. Uh, and she ho owns a home staging company and she's uh, got a few issues around pricing and how to manage inventory. Uh, we have Heather. Uh, she's an aspiring home stager. Uh, biggest challenge there is uh, where their location is. Yeah, that is going to be something to take into consideration. Alyssa, uh, she, another lady from North Carolina, she's an aspiring home stager um, and uh, looking for a career change there as well. Um, I've got um, um, Eliza from Israel um, and I've got uh, Tina from British Columbia uh, and she is working for a home staging business at the moment. She's looking to branch out on her own. Um, we have um, Laurie. She's a realtor um, and um, is looking to add to her business. Um, so we've got we've got a huge range of people uh, kind of um, looking to move into the home staging the home staging arena from all over the world, not just uh, in uh, the UK or USA. So 
Um, it kind of got me thinking about what we could do to add some real value to as many people as possible. So if you're interested in developing a home staging business, either as a new chapter to your life or as a side hustle because you just love interior design and uh, you want to help people to sell, uh, or you're looking to transition from corporate to being a business owner, or if you have a business already, uh, maybe you flip houses or you have a design business, an interior design business, or a home staging business for that matter, or you're a photographer wanting to add home staging uh, as an element to your business. And especially with Airbnb being so online and so visual, uh, photography is important. And um, uh, hosts are now engaging photographers to come in and stage their properties and take photographs. And if you come through our uh, training program, we have a whole section on photography for the home stager. So it's, it, it kind of works both ways there. But another uh, new idea that's kind of coming through uh, the market as uh, we transition into more uh, technology. Um, and then, of course, if you're a realtor looking to expand uh, your, your service range into home staging. So what I've done is I've put together a five day free training program for you to help you get clear on where you are, if this is for you, and some pointers on what you need to do as a kind of a roadmap uh, so you can see what is in front of you and um, to help you really take the next step. Because I do believe any business and certainly a home staging business is a journey. Um, so let's uh, first of all, I wanted to talk to you about the five stages of developing a business so that you can start to identify whereabouts you are within that kind of structure. And I am a big believer of structure because it helps to kind of to clarify our thinking uh, into a framework. And that just um, makes life easier for you to understand. If it's easy for you to understand, it's easy for you to explain. If it's easy for you to explain, it's easier for you to go out to the marketplace, etc., etc. And that starts to build the business, but it all starts with clarity. So let's get clear on the five stages of business development to start off with. So stage one is what we call the seed uh, or the development stage. And it's in that stage where you're formulating your idea, you are doing your research, you're going online, uh, maybe you're taking up some training, you're exploring new ideas, and you're starting to put down on paper, at least that's what you should be doing, is putting down on paper what your business will look like. And the great thing about being an entrepreneur and a business owner is you get to start with the blank page. You can build that business in a way that suits you, the things that you enjoy doing. And that's something that's very important. So don't just copy what somebody else has done. Um, there's a little phrase where they say, you know, do you be inspired by everybody, be inspired by what we've done uh, at the Home Staging Academy and, and what our graduates are doing and what our members of our community are doing. Be inspired by that. But then do you make it work for you, for your lifestyle, for your aspiration? Don't feel like you have to do it just because you have to keep up with the competition. You have to be different in this market. So being the same is not um, a good idea. And being somebody who you're not is not a good idea. Be authentically you. So do you. Um, so stage one is that seed and development stage uh, where you'll be doing your research, doing some training, building your confidence that you are on the right lines. And at that point, you can either move to step two or stop. But it's that exploratory phase. So stage two is the actual startup. That's when you're going to start going out to market, maybe doing some market testing, maybe offering some free stuff. Um, you're actually starting to market it. You're going into the world saying, this is what I do. This is what I do now. Reaching out to your family and friends, uh, acquaintances, and just saying, this is what I'm doing now. Uh, do you know anybody who? Um, and you're making it official. You're actually setting up your business entity with uh, whichever authority you need to do that in your country, your location, your state. And you're probably going to be starting this part time. Let's be, you know, I, I think there's a, a concern about, you know, how, how do I raise the funds so I can go into this full time from day one? The reality is you don't. Don't do that. And certainly in the home staging business, don't do that. Um, start on a part time basis, uh, putting your toe in the water, building your confidence getting some feedback, gaining some experience and start gradually building that. That's the startup phase. And that can take a year or two to really get going in a part time basis. Stage three might be when you decide to go from part time to full time. 
It's your growth and establishment phase. And it's really where you're starting to grow beyond just you. You're bringing in a team. You're bringing in systems, systemization, standards, documentation, and all that allows you to scale and continue to grow your business. Because there's only so much you can do as one person uh, in a solo business. Um, you do need to start thinking at that point about how you work with others and how you can leverage through standardization uh, and start to scale your business. Stage four. Now, some of you might be at that stage already where you're looking to expand. You already have a business, but you're looking to expand. And an expansion usually includes services and territory. Um, but you please don't do too much too soon. Um, um, just because you've got it working over here doesn't mean it's going to work over here. So it might be that you've got it working in this location. When you go to another town, is it still going to work? You might have this service working for this type of client here, but then you're looking at going to this type of client, with this type of service. Is that going to work? So always be on the side of caution when you take on a new expansion, but be cautious and don't do too much too soon. Um, and that would be advice for you. And in that stage, my mantra is only do what only you can do. If other people can do the accounts, hand it out to an accountant. If other people can do the cleaning, hand your cleaning out to a cleaner. Only do what you can do to save um, the best of you for the best of your business and farm out the rest and look at how to build um, your team etc in that in that phase or, or outsource maybe you'll have a virtual team don't actually have to have them in a brick and mortar anymore not with the way technology is moving uh, as fast as it is and then stage five is that maturity stage uh, of your business where you're you, uh, it, it's um it's kind of rolling along quite nicely thank you um we it, it's kind of a known entity we've had some experience behind us we've had a few years in business um and we're maybe looking to take more time off from the business. We've got people in place that are driving the business. You're not having to do that anymore. And it's possibly a time for your own exit, um, maybe taking on a, a brand new enterprise or even retirement. So I want you to have a think about where you are in that whole idea of the business uh, stages, well, what stage of the business are you at? Um, and what do you need to do? What do you need to do to get to that next level? What, what pieces are missing? What do you feel that you need to do? What learning and education, what experiences, what knowledge, what know-how? Um, and um, a coach of mine, Tony Robbins, always used to say, and he, he still says this, that it's um, the, the, the whole idea of um, a business is never limited by its potential, but the potential of its owner. So you have to be continually getting education, growing your skill set uh, to grow your business uh, because there's only so much you know today. And that means that's only how far you're going to be able to take your business today. So this five day, this free uh, program that I've put together for you will help you figure out some of this stuff. And I'm going to be going through what I call the five secrets of building a successful business and uh, the five areas, uh, one uh, topic each day over five days, last about 20 minutes uh, to half an hour. We're going to be looking at talent. Uh, how do you know that you've got it and what does it look like when you um, are being uh, reassured that you have it? That really gets to a point of confidence that you're on the right lines, that you are following not only your passion, but you have some talent in that area as well. So you know what it takes. And we'll, we'll drill down a little bit on what talent looks like. Um, day two, we're going to talk about transition. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about my story, how, how I transitioned from corporate IT uh, back in the late 1990s and into a home staging business, uh, then went on to uh, marketing and um, how to present out to the client and really grow the business and, and, and that whole transition. And my, my whole life has been a transition. In fact, life, you know, they say there's only one thing certain about uh, life and that's change in taxes and, and changes that transition. You're always transitioning, even once you've made the move from, say, corporate into being a business owner or from ser uh, serving clients in one way into serving clients another way. 
um, you're always transitioning because a business that isn't transitioning into something new or evolved in some way, transitioning into an evolved state of being is basically stagnating and a stagnating business is on the decline. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about transition and, and how important that is in the five secrets of building a successful business. At day three, we're going to be talking about the power of not being on your own. You could, you, no man is an island. Um, we are social animals uh, by default. Uh, don't think you can do this on your own. Uh, you can go so far, as I've already mentioned, but to go and really uh, get everything out of this idea that you have or what you're wanting to do with your life, you are going to need some kind of community, some kind of team, some kind of support system, uh, be that virtual or physical, uh, be it in your office or be it remote or be it through um, home staging secrets um, board where you're bouncing ideas off other people uh, because we can't operate in a vacuum. We are not wired that way as human beings. So we're going to talk a little bit about that on uh, day three. Day four, we're going to be really drilling down on the idea of clarity, having a very clear idea of what business you're in and what business you will never be in. And that's a really uh, important distinction to make, being really crystal clear about your business. Then you can start to standardize and build uh, structure into the way you operate. So you're not just doing on the fly every time. And that helps you to leverage and starts to help you grow even more. But it all starts with this whole idea of having a very clear idea of what business you're in uh, and being very clear about uh, your standards and what you stand for in your business. So we'll talk a little bit about clarity on day four. Uh, day five, this is going to be all around your uh, visibility in the world, how you're turning up in the world, how you're attracting the right clients. Um, and how important that is. And, and it's a really important thing to remember. It's not, it's never, it's never, ever, ever how good you are at something. It's how good you are at being seen for being good at that thing. So it's all in the visibility. Uh, so we're going to be talking quite heavily about that on day five. So just a couple of uh, footnotes here. Um, it's not what you know, it's what you do with what you know that counts. So having some accountability there as part of a community is really important. Uh, you can't build business on your own, so you're going to have to work a way of structuring your business so it can grow beyond just you. And it's not how good you are, it's how uh, good you are at being seen as being good that's going to count. We're all social animals. So uh, building a, a team and a, a, a community around you is going to be really important in your business. And um, having um, community accountability, uh, working with a coach, um, looking at um, having uh, peers that you can bounce off or people that have just been down the road a little bit uh, further than you have uh, that can help on that. Um, so... Uh, that's what I'm wanting to kind of cover in, in a bit more detail, those, those five uh, basic secrets to building a successful business. Uh, knowing that you've got the talent, that you're going down the right road in the first place, looking at how you're going to transition, look at how you're going to build that team and community around you, getting absolutely crystal clear about what business you're in, and then looking at how you're going to present yourself into the world, how you're going to manage your visibility, how you're going to attract those right clients. And over those five days, you will have uh, enough know-how to know what you need to do to get yourself to that next level. And I hope that's going to be really helpful. So all you need to do is sign up. Uh, let us have your email address and uh, we'll get you onto this program. It will come out to you automatically every day over the next five days. Um, and uh, it will just be a short video similar to this one where we go into a bit more detail about each of those topics. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.